Yeah, well, that's because in Detroit there really isn't anything to do. I mean, you can say there's nothing to do in Cleveland, or you can say there's nothing to do in Toronto, but there's stuff to do in Toronto. There's stuff to do in New York City. There's stuff to do in Los Angeles. There's nothing to do in Detroit except be in a band. I mean, and, and there's nowhere to play, really, either. There's only a couple of clubs that, pull, that have live acts and things like that, you know. So it really is just, you know, I mean, you, you, you know, you got to do something for entertainment. You have to make your own, and that's really why we do it. And, you know, but we've been doing it since the early 80s. And that's, you know, that's why we all know each other, because we've all been around since we were all in high school. I looked around, and there were no other bands in Detroit that had two drummers and two basses. And I thought, well, I'm going to do that because nobody else is doing that. The Dirt Bombs is different because I, I run it, more or less. I handle all of the music. So we, we play what I want, basically. And there's no, you know, the, the drummers have vetoed a couple of songs. There's a couple of songs that I want to play that they don't like to play. But other than that, it's pretty much all me. But it's, you know, it's, excuse me, it's the Dirt Bombs is the rock act, or, you know, the, the, I, have, I have other bands, I have a P-Funk band called the Voltaire Brothers, you know, and I now have a techno project, and I have a shoegazer pop project. I don't think of the Dirt Bombs as an album band anyway. I don't really even care how the albums turn out. Uh, the Dirt Bombs are a singles band, and I concentrate on the singles. That's why I'm very happy with the singles compilation. But yeah, th this is the second longest lineup I've had. This lineup is almost two years old now, because Jim Diamond left the band in 2003. Uh, so, you know, yeah, and Potter, he left before that even, you know. You know, Potter moved out of Detroit. He moved back to his hometown of Muskegon, Michigan, and uh, Diamond still has the recording studio. He's still busy. Uh, I don't know who else is there. There's, there's so many other people. There's, you know, there's 20 X dirt bombs. Well, yeah, I mean, I only expected the dirt bombs to last about three years. And I, was, I had planned to do everything I had planned to do. Was gonna, I was going to do it in three years and then quit it and move on to another band. You know, but this band has lasted 10 years and I'm kind of tired of it. It's getting to be, I mean, the, un unfortunately, it's like now it's been, you know, ten, after 10 years, now people are coming to the shows, and now we're getting really nice venues and nice fat paychecks. You know, and now it's now, you know, everybody wants to talk about it. I'm tired of it now. I want to do something else.